And today I'm in a change of scenery. Sorry for the echo. I'm currently filming in my bathroom because I wanted to switch it up and I didn't feel like filming in our filming room today. So by the title of this video, you can obviously see that I'm going to be talking about my current Amazon favorites with you guys. I feel like we haven't done an Amazon favorites in a while. Must haves video. Like I've been using these products nonstop, not products, but these items. Um, some of them are going to be pretty random, some of them are beauty related, but some are going to be random, but I feel like all of these are necessity and I think you guys will really enjoy all these products and I, I pretty much use everything I'm looking at either every day or every single month. So I'm just going to hop right into it. All of the products will be linked in the description box if you guys want to purchase anything. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you're interested, they will be down there just so you know. So first I'm going to start with a body lotion that I cannot stop using. This is from the brand Bioderma and I used to use a body wash from them a while ago that I used to love and I've heard some good things about their body and face moisturizers. I haven't tried any of their products on my face but this product in particular I heard really good things about. This is the Ultra Nourishing Cream for normal to dry sensitive skin and it's fragrance free. As you guys know, I have pretty sensitive skin. I cannot use fragrance or essential oils on my skin, especially my face, but I'm realizing over time that my body is also a little sensitive. So I can't, I can't be using like fancy stuff all the time. Every now and then I'll use a body butter with a little bit of fragrance in it, like maybe on the weekends, but on a daily basis, my skin responds well to products like this. If you have sensitive skin, like if you can't use nothing, your skin gets rashes easily. If you get like those little KP bumps like on your arms, I would recommend switching to a fragrance free product. Y'all, this product is bomb. It's so nourishing. Even though it's in like a lotion like pump bottle, the name Ultra Nourishing Cream is so spot on because it feels so good on the skin. This is a really nice like actual cream. Like if you can see that, that's like not a regular lotion. It's a legit like cream product and I love that this rubs into the skin really fast. You're not rubbing it in forever because sometimes when you get out of the shower you don't want to spend all day rubbing in your body moisturizer. You just want to moisturize and go to bed you know and this leaves like a really nice glow. Look at that. Amazing. Again doesn't have a scent so if you're high maintenance when it comes to like fragrance free this doesn't have a scent. Doesn't even have like sometimes when things have fragrance free it'll have like a fragrance free scent I know that's not like it don't make sense but I've tried some products that say it's fragrance free but it still has like a weird scent to it this literally smells like nothing not even like the lotion kind of smell it doesn't smell like anything so this could be like a good day or night body moisturizer I use this at night I love to combine this with squalane body oil from Biosense, or I'll use it in conjunction with my rose hip body oil so you can use it with rose hip or squalane I love those two any body oil really works really well with this body cream this does say it's hyperallergenic if you guys are looking for that as well it has a accepted national eczema association on it as well as national psoriasis so if you guys have eczema or psoriasis you're welcome I don't have either thank god but I still love this product it has a little family at the bottom so everybody can use it look at this I'm all the way down here. I've used quite a bit and I will be repurchasing, so you're welcome. Another body product that I am extremely obsessed with and I've heard a lot of people talk about this as well and I'm just not getting around to trying it. That's a little bit thicker than the product that I just mentioned, but still just as amazing. I think I'm going to be using this into the fall and winter as well. This is from Cetaphil and this is their moisturizing cream and this has changed my opinion on Cetaphil. I don't use any Cetaphil face products just because I feel like they don't really do anything for my skin. Like obviously they're not like a active base brand. I just don't feel like they benefit my skin in any way. Like I've tried their cleanser once and I feel like I have other cleansers that I enjoy more. But this product I've seen a lot of people talk about for their body and this is the moisturizing cream for very dry to dry sensitive skin. It says it hydrates for 48 hours and fully restores the skin barrier. When I saw the skin barrier like thing on the side, I was like, I need it. Cause I'm all about protecting the skin barrier. 
You guys know that I like to exfoliate in the shower quite often. Well, some of y'all may not know. I like to exfoliate my body about three times a week. And sometimes that can be a little sensitive to your skin. And I really love using nourishing products that are going to restore the moisture barrier and make my skin feel really nice and moisturized and supple and like soothing. This does that for me. So on the side it says it defends against skin sensitivity and it has five signs of sensitive skin and it says weakened skin barrier dryness irritation roughness and tightness so if your skin is feeling like any of those things this is going to help with that so i love the texture it's just like a regular y'all probably can't see it's just a really nice cream i'll just get like a little bit out of here see as you can see it's a lot thicker than the lotion i just used it's not ain't nothing coming out so it's like a more of like a thicker cream it's not like a lotion kind of consistency but it rubs in just as well as a lotion it doesn't take forever to rub in but it still feels really nice i also love mixing this with a body oil um i've always been about like mixing body oils i know some people like to do body oil last but i'm not gonna lie i get lazy and i just mix it and it just rubs in so easily again this is fragrance free and this is also a huge part of my body care routine. It's just amazing. And it feels really nice and like pampering, but it doesn't obviously irritate the skin. Everything that's like pamper routine related does not have to smell like something. Y'all should keep that in mind too, because some people think that just because something doesn't smell like fancy or amazing means that it's not luxurious. Fragrance-free things can still be luxurious. And I personally think they're even more luxurious because they're more effective and you see long-term benefits from fragrance-free products. So highly recommend the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. This is a bomb. It also comes in a bigger jar, which I'm gonna repurchase after this size, which is the 8.8 .8 ounce. So love this product. If y'all have not tried either one of these, the Bioderma or the Cetaphil, get into it. You need it. If you love fragrance-free, if you can't use fragrance, you'll love these. So while we're still on the body care topic, I wanted to mention these body sponges that I've been using for about two years now. And this is from the brand Illumi. I don't even know if I mentioned this before. You don't have to try this brand, but just the product itself is a game changer for my shower routine. I don't use like regular washcloths because I feel like they don't clean my body well enough. And if I do use them, I feel like I'm scrubbing too hard. And, um, I don't know, I just don't really like washcloths as much as I love these. This is the smaller version. I obviously use like the largest one for my body. This looks like it could be for your heels or something. Um, this pack came with three, so it came with like two bigger ones and then one little one like this. The bigger one is in my shower, which I don't feel like getting right now because it might still be wet possibly. But this like body sponge like type product is amazing. It's so convenient. It has like the little strap on the back. So you just like attach it obviously to your hand like so and then you just go in with like, you know, your body wash. Well, actually I'll just give y'all a rundown on what I do in the order that I do it. So you wet this under the shower water. Then you put your body wash, whatever you like to use, your soap, whatever, onto that. And then you like squeeze it and it expands and it like gets the soap all sudsy and nice. And then you go in and do your shower, you know, do your thing, y'all. I feel so extra clean with these that I feel like washcloths have just collected dust in my bathroom. I don't use washcloths anymore to, to wash my body. I like to use these. They almost have like a Brillo pad, not an actual Brillo pad. These are a lot more gentle than a Brillo pad, but they have like a really nice exfoliating kind of feel. So I feel like I'm getting like double exfoliation, like on some of the days when I exfoliate. So even though it's probably not the best for my skin, like I said, I only exfoliate three times a week, but if you don't want to exfoliate, you can obviously just wash your body with this and it does a really good job. And I really think that these clean my body a lot better. Like I, I feel squeaky clean like when I get out of the shower when I use these versus a towel. So if you haven't, if you've used loofahs, like those hand, what do you call those? gloves those exfoliating gloves i think that this could replace everything you could just wash your body and exfoliate with this these are bomb i'm gonna keep repurchasing these i replace mine about once a month 
So that's why I recommend buying like the packs. So you can get them in packs of like three, sometimes they come in fives, it just depends on what brand you get them from. So I highly recommend these for your shower, game changer. Okay, so next, while we're still on the topic of beauty, I'm gonna mention one of my monthly rituals that I like to do with this product. And I go through so many of these. Well, actually, technically I go through 12 a year because I only do this once a month. And it's these Tinkle Women's Shavers. So these Tinkle Razors. I decided to get like a huge pack because I go through like the little regular packs, um, you know, faster. And obviously I will have to purchase these anytime soon because I only use these, like I said, once a month. There's 36 razors in this one. Y'all probably don't need this big old pack like I got, but I just like to have backup everything. Just in case Kelsey needs something in my bathroom, she always comes in here bar and stuff, and I just tell her to just take it. Um, but these, I like to have a lot because I don't use them more than once. These are little razors that you can use to dermaplane your face, which I do once a month, and that's just pretty much getting all the bellest hair, like little peach fuzz, off of your face, wherever that is. And your skin just feels a lot smoother. On those days, I like to give my skin a break from actives, so like, any kind of chemical exfoliators or retinols or anything, I don't use those on the days that I dermaplane my face. So I do this once a month and I just dispose of it right when I use it. I don't reuse the same one, I just throw it in the trash, which is why I like to have a lot on hand. And this brand in particular is my favorite. I tried other brands that work well, but I always go back to these because they're the most affordable and you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? So. They're very like easy to use. I cut myself maybe twice and that's just because I was just being too rough. But they are really gentle. They don't like cut your face like a, a, an actual razor would, like those actual hand razors, like those really sharp ones that are not safe to use. Um, but these are really gentle, like I said. So if you have sensitive skin, you can obviously use these because I do have sensitive skin myself. You will love these. If you've never done a plan before, I highly recommend it because your makeup will go on so much smoother. Your skincare will absorb a lot faster, like underneath your epidermis. I'm just telling you, dermal planning is a game changer and I do it once a month. So get into the Tinkle Razors. They're amazing. Okay, so next I have some shower caps to talk about. I'm a huge fan of shower caps, especially if you're a black girl, we need shower caps. We're not trying to like re-wet our hair. And especially if it's straight, you really ain't trying to get it wet or get the steam touching it in the shower. So shower caps are absolutely essential. And these I love because they are satin lined. And I was looking for some satin lined shower caps for the longest time. These come in different colors. This pack came with the pink one, a blue one, and a black one. So you guys can obviously choose other colors. They had other like three color packs that weren't these colors. Um, and I have no idea what the brand is, but of course I will link it below. And for the longest time, I was using these so wrong. So y'all, please don't judge me. I was using this part on the inside and then this was like chilling on the outside. And I'm like, Kendra, the whole point of this satin line part is for this part to touch your hair. And this part is supposed to get wet. So I was using them wrong before. I know. I'm using them the correct way now, so that's all that matters. And I love that these are also adjustable, so you can like make them looser, you can make them tighter, depending on your head size. If you have a weirdly large head or a weirdly small head, you know, whatever. They are adjustable and I love that the inside is satin. So sometimes if I don't have like a, a silk scarf or like a bonnet on, like over like my bun, like I sleep my, with my hair in like a really loose bun, this is gonna protect the hair and like keep it nice and healthy and shiny. Um, silk and satin are very essential to maintaining your hair, no matter what hair type you have. They're just better than cotton anything in my opinion. So. You guys should give these a try. I just recently got rid of another set of like shower caps because like the, uh, the the elastic part like broke and it just got too loose. So I recently got some new ones and those lasted me for like two years. So you don't have to replace these that often. 
and I love having good shower caps on hand. So obviously I like the packs because you can keep one in your bathroom, one with your travel stuff. It's just really essential to have with you because I hate being that girl who forgot her shower cap like when you're out of town traveling. Because sometimes the little hotel shower caps don't be good and they be too small and they just don't fit over all of my hair. These obviously fit because they're large enough to fit over all of my hair. So love these, highly recommend some satin line shower caps. I use these every single day, so. Next, I have a very random must-have because the, this isn't beauty-related, it's snack-related. So, y'all know how important chip clips are to have in your pantry because they keep your snacks fresher, and of course, you don't want to, like, waste your food. You want it to last. You don't want to eat it all in one day, and clips are very important, but the right clips. You can't just be using any kind of chip clips. These have changed my life when it comes to snacks. These are the strongest chip clips I have ever, ever used. I, I guarantee you haven't used a chip clip this strong in your life. These are amazing. They come in this really pretty brass gold and they come in these silver ones as well. So I just got two packs. I think the packs that I got came in like maybe like 10 or 12 or something. And these are bomb. I highly recommend y'all try these because I feel like my chips taste better when I use these. They stay crunchy longer. Crackers, you can put these on pretty much any snack that you want to last and stay fresh. Because um, obviously we're not just sitting eating like one bag of chips in one sitting. Hopefully you're not doing that. Um, so these must have for me. Highly recommend these chip clips. They're amazing. Last but not least, Something else that's in essential for me are really good slippers. I wear these pretty much every day when I'm not wearing my pink ones and they are these black slippers. These are my slippers that I wear every single day around the house and they just feel so good. I feel weird when I don't wear slippers. When you have hardwood floors and you have you walk on your bathroom floor, it's really cold and my feet just feel really exposed. Just feels weird. Like, I like to have something under my feet when I'm walking around the house. And these, I love these black fluffy ones I wear the most. I also have a pink pair that I keep in my luggage like to travel with because I'm not trying to be walking around the hotel floor either. Um, but these black ones are my favorite ones. Obviously, y'all know I love black. Um, so, I highly recommend these slippers. They have so many different kinds of slippers on Amazon, but I like these like slide-in ones. And I love like how the black looks against like my fresh pedicure, here, really cute. And I just like how these like fit my feet. These come in small, medium, large. I have the medium ones just because the small ones fit a little snug. So the medium ones are perfect for me, even though these do look kind of small. So I'm sure the small ones look even tinier because I thought these were small and looking on the back, they say medium. So. Highly recommend some good slippers. These are machine washable, or at least I wash mine because you can feel when your house shoes, like your slippers need to be washed. And I've washed these quite a few times and they always come out feeling like new. So I haven't repurchased slippers in a long time just because I just rewashed these. And I think these were like maybe like 15 bucks, I think. Um, I haven't purchased slippers in a while, so I could be wrong, but I ha will have some linked. These are my pride and joy. So comfortable. Again, wear them every day. Okay, guys, so that wraps up my Amazon must-haves. I hope you guys found some products or items that you're going to purchase and be using on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, whatever you like. But I've been using all these nonstop over and over, so I highly recommend that you try some of these. And let us know if you want us to make more Amazon must-haves because we use a lot of random things around the house. Um, that I think you guys would appreciate. So let us know if you want more Amazon must-haves like this. I just did this video on my own because Kelsey didn't really have anything must-have related to talk about when it came to Amazon. And also, I'm the Amazon person. I order her stuff from Amazon because we don't we use my account, and I'm a Prime member, so there's that. When you're a Prime member, you just find stuff to buy on Amazon that you probably don't even need. But I absolutely need all these products, which is why I wanted to make this video for you guys so you can enjoy some of my must-haves as well. So yeah, again, all the products will be linked in the description box below for you guys to check out. And I will see you guys in the next one.